Good morning, Internet. My name is Milk Ducks, and this is Domination on Firing Range. Uh, I am using the Enfield Suppressed because <laughs> because I like bad guns. <laughs> uh, no, the, the Enfield really isn't that bad. This is actually the first match, I would say, in a long time that I've even used it. I mean, though in the past, you know, it's been a really frustrating gun for me. I, uh, a lot of the times I felt like it, it fires hugs and understanding instead of bullets. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the truth is that it's actually a surprisingly underrated gun, and, and it has a lot going for it. It It is the weakest of the fully auto assault rifles in Black Ops. It shares the same low damage profile as the FAMAS and the AUG, you know, while having the same low rate of fire as the Galil, the Commando, and the AK-47. So, on paper, it would seem like it doesn't have a lot going for it. The truth is, though, that you know, all those guns take the same number of shots to kill. Uh, the FAMAS, the AUG, and the Enfield deal 35-25 damage, so that's three shots to kill up close and four downrange. The Galil, the Commando, and the AK-47 deal 40-30 damage, which is still three shots to kill up close and four down range. So, uh, the same number of bullets to kill, it really doesn't matter what gun you use, which is why the FAMAS and the AUG are so stupid powerful. You know, they kill in the same number of shots as the other fully auto assault rifles, but the rate of fire is tremendously higher. Uh, the FAMAS is so ridiculously good, in fact. I mean, it really ought to be like a kill streak. <laughs> uh, so again, the, the Enfield has the, uh, the low damage profile, uh, but that doesn't mean anything, you know, f really. Functionally, you can think of it as pretty much the same as the Galil, the Commando, the AK-47, uh, but it does have a number of unique handling characteristics, including uh, what I consider to be a really manageable recoil and uh, the fastest ADS time of all the assault rifles. So, I mean, is it the best gun? No, it's it's not the FAMAS. <laughs> I mean, it is a good gun, though. I mean, you can't judge every weapon against the most overpowered gun in the game. If you did, then nobody would ever use anything but the FAMAS. Oh, wait. <laughs> that, that is what they do. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you know, a lot of people have asked me, especially recently, you know, like, Ducks, why don't you get involved in MLG or you know, game battles and that kind of stuff. You know, the truth is that I think it's a joke. You know, I have been involved in competitive gaming in the past, and I've done well for myself, so it's not, it's not a matter of, you know, not being able to compete or whatever. Uh, it's that the scene attracts what I consider to be the worst attitudes. And I, uh, like smelly teenage neckbeards with no social skills, uh, fist bumping each other every time they get a win, you know, and using every excuse imaginable when they lose. Uh, you know, there's this facade of sportsmanship, but it's a joke, really. Uh, you know, and I don't enjoy the official rule set either. You know, I, I do understand the need for a competitive rule set because, you know, it evens out the playing field to a certain extent. It takes out some of the randomness that you might encounter. Uh, so the outcome of the game is more dependent on skill than luck. Uh, you know, like you like you turn off items in Super Smash Bros. Melee, for instance, because one person might pick up a Pokeball and a Snorlax will you know, crush everything on the screen, and the next guy picks it up and, you know, Goldeen just flops around uselessly and does nothing. But the MLG rule set for Call of Duty takes out everything. I mean, nobody can have Flak Jacket. Nobody can have Estrella. Nobody can have Warlord or Nova Gas. <laughs> but everybody can have a FAMAS, right? <laughs> and they do. It's, it's boring. Uh, I mean, there's a respawn penalty in Domination, for Christ's sake. Uh, the reason I enjoy Domination and Demolition is because it's fast-paced. You know, ideally, it is a game where teams are fighting head-to-head -head for an objective. I love, like, the thrill of rushing in to take an objective under fire. And, you know, if I get picked up, that's cool. You know, I can, I can just pop smoke and rush right back in. It's fast-paced. It's action-oriented. It's fun. So, did you catch that? <laughs> uh, we had a guy calling a rolling thunder, uh, get zero kills with it, and then I get shot in the back. Uh, you know, I, I talked about this in the last commentary, but, you know, you need to bring the right kill streaks to the table. Uh, we went into this match knowing that we were going to 3 cap. Uh, so that's why I'm running, like, low recon centered kill streaks. Uh, because when you triple cap, enemies spawn all over the map just randomly, right? I mean, they have no spawn of their own. 
So, knowing that, I mean, why would you choose Rolling Thunder over Blackbird? How many kills are you realistically going to get with a B-52 when the enemy's spawning randomly all over the map? I mean, <laughs> wouldn't a Blackbird be a hell of a lot more useful in that situation? So, your team can instantly see where the enemy's appearing, respond, and, and really have no fear of being shot in the back? Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, I ran out of time with this commentary a lot faster than I, I sort of anticipated. <laughs> I had a, a number of other topics I, I kind of wanted to take touch base on, uh, some shout outs I wanted to make, uh, you know, but I've got some extra footage stocked up, so you know, I'll try to have another commentary out this weekend. Uh, you know, with the time I'd, I have left, I'd really like to just say thank you uh, to everybody for sort of commenting and, and helping me out with this stuff. I feel like I'm really starting to hit my groove as far as commentary goes. Uh, so it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to continue to do. Uh, you know, but if this is the first time you've seen one of my clips, please tell me what you think. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, you know, that stuff. Every little bit helps, guys. And So thank you again. Uh, my name is Milk Ducks, and until next time, quack quack.